So where were we? Oh yes, mocked by cousin Gladstone, harried by Uncle Scrooge, and undervalued by his three know-it-all nephews, Donald Duck's been stuck with all the bad luck. Until now. Thanks to a mix-up in the mail, our hapless hero receives the deed to Villa Rose, a mansion that was, decades ago, the headquarters of that legendary adventurer, Phanto Mallard. This infamous figure led a double life as a gentleman thief and a fighter of corruption. Now Donald, finding Phanto Mallard's diary hidden in the villa, learns all the elusive Richnick's secret methods of pulling capers and hiding from the law. These tricks, plus a supply of Gyro Gearloose's Mardi Gras masks, enable Donald to transform himself into the Duck Avenger, and under the cloak of night spring his schemes on his fancied foes. It's payback time. Dusk at McDuck Manor. Uncle Scrooge has no inkling of the threat that lurks without. <sighs> High walls on all sides, a front door of solid steel, and electronic booby traps guarding my fantastic a trillion dollar home cash reserve. I couldn't be more secure. Ah, nothing beats laying on a mattress stuffed with thousand dollar bills. And with Donald's lamp gift, I'm not spending a penny on electricity. While I ease my weary orbs in Ovid's Metamorphosis, that epic poem full of my favourite legends. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we are. Midas touched a barren clod of earth, and lo, by magic, the clod became a nugget. And the ground around, a mine. <laughs> Gold is where you find it. Scrooge little suspects that as the lamp illuminates the pages, it's also releasing hypnotic vapors. Fascinating reading. Just fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> Meanwhile, barreling through the night, In fact, Meanwhile, unaware of the role they will play in the rebirth of a legend. 
Seems a waste of police resources to set up a roadblock for a mirage. Yep. Still, that old duffer swore he saw Fano Mallard charging up and down this road. The long gone Fano Mallard. Yep. So we lose a whole night on a signed stakeout. Just in case he turns up again. Yep, orders are orders. However, Ah, our first customer. Yup, hope he's not in a hurry. Hmm, a checkpoint. No plan. I'll slip another switch. Did you see that? Yup. It's Top Slug Robert's time. So let's deploy a regular waste gadget. <laughs> Faster, he's getting away. Hey, is this oil? Yup. Whoa, it's all over the road! Ooh. Hey, what are you doing up there? Recon! And I recon our oily friends headed to that villa over yonder. So he is. After a long swamp like this, it's time for the Duke of Ventra to rest on his laurels. <laughs> Our rather dangerous repose on a mattress stuffed with mola. <laughs> and the two towers he wants to get shows to. Okay, buddy. Hands up. Mm -hmm. Guess I underestimated you guys. Guess you did. Sit down. And no sudden moves. Hands in plain sight. Okay, okay. You got me. Oof. Back out the window. Good thing I stoked this place out earlier. Want an emergency ladder? Coming up. A quick hand? And sweet refuge is mine. Let's see those cops trap me now. Meanwhile... Hey, you! That's twice he's knocked us for a loop. How about some light on the subject? Don't bother, he went this way. I'm stumbling around up there. Close. Ah, my tail. Better comb the entire property. Well, I'm playing outside. The abductive workout slips back inside. First order of business is the mattress. Those dumb cows want frontal mammals, secret dynamite tangle. <laughs> if I'm not going off, won't turn that yellow. And with that, the Duke of Ventra makes himself scarce. The next morning. Wakey, wakey! Huh? Uncle Scrooge? What's up? Last night, someone stole my mattress. Stole your mattress? What's up, my nigga? Pretty slick trick. Any suspects? A couple. I've reported it to the authorities and... And? 
Get dressed and come downstairs. The police crave a confab. Toot sweet. Police? Here? Confab? Gonna be on my guard. Now your other kids here. Is this the duck you chased last night? Could be. Could be. But it might have been him. Yup. I'm sure it was one of them. And he wore bat wings. That's ridiculous. That patrolman is talking through his donuts. Gentlemen, let's get down to cases. One of you stole my mattress. Why me? And why me? Don't steal my dressing, you slip back crook. Crook? Me? It's all you, you pallet pilferer. <laughs> Enough! Right now, all I really care about is the mattress. And reliable witnesses say it's stored at Villa Rose. Witnesses? Yeah, us. We even cornered the thief there, but he got away. Never mind. We'll find him. If we were covering my mattress, that rascal should come running. And then... <clears throat> Everyone, to the villa! Time's a wasting! Not done! Nope! Not done! Come on, Donald! I'll follow in my humble gadabout! Time to move that mattress out of our way from the villa! Wow! Let's see, uh, if I can just flat down your throat somehow, I'm done. <sighs> Donald waits for the right moment to act. Hey, look! That strange figure over there! Is it a wearing bat wings? Where? We don't see it again! It's stuck in those bushes! Holy heck! Uh, that's just what I'm doing! Come on, lads! A quarter to whoever spots the thief again! A dollar to whoever captures him! Go to it, Poochie! <laughs> so far, so good! Time to deploy Carol's masks! Yeah, where's the guy? Scram! You and I have no business! On second thought, maybe we do! Okay, back to your door, Slinger! I gotta see this! <laughs> Donald? Oh, oh my gosh! You shrunk! And grown fur! Chance, did I hear my dear uncle call my name? Donald? But, but, but... Hmm. A very convincing mask. Shines a whole new light on the matter. I'll say. I don't want to tell you more than that. Could the person you saw have had this on? Possibly. Possibly my eye. If I was the thief, would I have disguised myself as myself? And how did that pump on boots of yours end up with that mask? Hat, glance, dog? Don't ask me, ask him. Hey, how dare you not feel? Good to hear. You're the thief. Don't try to deny it. Okay, I'll admit. You flip, Donald! Ah! Enough! Pummel each other later! Find that crook now! He could be anybody! <laughs> and so Detective Hunter slowly diverts suspicion from himself. Well, whatever one else has been so excited, I'll hush a little to read the rules and deal with the mattress. Wow, just glanced on. 
Bring your next direct him. Gladstone, you lowlife, what do you think you're doing? Looking for the thief, Uncle Scrooge. He didn't come this way, Ninny. Check over there. Right ho. <laughs> and now the host is here. Let's go through the roads. No! Uncle Scrooge, how, how'd you get here? I've been here all along, Nitwit. Why are you here? You sent me here, from up there. But I wasn't up there. Maybe not. Yeah, see that? I'm seeing you know too much about this. Maybe Donald was right. And you are the mattress snatcher. Where'd you hide it, Crumbum? Wait, a ditched mask proves the real thief is running scared. I bet he's hiding out at Villa Rose. Hmm. So I'll go there and solve this. See ya when I see ya. I hate to think he's right. I won't see you to Donald. We can't find him. Forget him, boys. Keep an eye on Gladstone for me. Meanwhile, down the road. Phew. What a feeling. I don't remember the roads being so far away. Uh-oh. Guess what's going on? Guess my misdirection got misdirected. Then what the heck? We'll probably find that mattress in good time. So much for my career as a tenth adventurer. I'll see him home and leave my fate to my fate. Moments later. Phew, okay. Let's see if my luck will back up my big talk. I'll just let it guide my steps. Ah, what have we here? A hidden room. Musty, creepy, and dark. Well, this candle will take care of that. Yowza! Uncle Scrooge's mattress! Luck, as usual, seems to be going all Gladstone's way. Will it also keep the candle from following its designed purpose? Yow! Nope. Born. Just as we suspected. Yup. Afterward. Tell you all what to do. We talked to Dave. Yep. Case closed. Oh. Out of quietly. Very funny. And don't flatter yourself. This was the work of a genius prankster. No, it doesn't Gladstone. Damn a fact. As punishment, Uncle Scrooge is making the bit of all the money blown out of the roads by an explosion. Every last bill. <laughs> As for you, nephew. Nephew, Tom, don't be a vulture. A vulture? Wherefore? Oh, never mind. It's a long story. I want to wait over all your tiny heads. Hmm. Figures you'd be thinking up nonsense like that while doing what you do best. Loafing. The end?